you is up hello I seen your pretty face as soon as you came in the door I just wanna chill, got a set for us to roll Married to the money, introduced you to my stove, stove I'm like, hey, what's up? Okay, guys, welcome back. So today, the wig that we're working on is from none other than RPG Hair. So this is their Yaki Texture Bob Unit. And right now, I'm just putting on a stocking cap so that my wig lays flat when I put it on. I'm just going to go ahead and try my unit to make sure that it fits right onto my head and everything. This is nice. Okay, so this is the unit. The cap does fit perfect. They usually always get like my cap size down to C. So the lace literally goes like right by my ear tabs. So they fit perfectly. I would not be needing to cut off any excess lace from around the ear tabs area. And yeah. So this is what the inside of the unit looks like. And also I'm just noticing that this unit did come with a knot to bleach. So I guess that's why it looks so natural when I put it against my skin tone. So I'm just going to ease this cap a bit back so I don't see it there under my unit, just like that. And right now I'm just going in with my hot comb and passing it back over the hair just to lay everything flat and nice. And you guys, this unit does come pre-customized, but for a more even like natural install, I would suggest going back in and plucking it some more just because I didn't find like they plucked out enough hair out of it. Although it does says like it's a pre-customized wig and what's not. Um, it's not customized to the point where it's gonna look natural when you put it on your head. At first I was gonna like glue down my unit, but because this wig fits so perfect on my head, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it as it is so I'm able to remove my unit. And right now I'm just going in with some foundation powder just to lighten that scent apart a bit more. And right now I'm just taking my flat iron and passing it through this unit, literally trying to unbump this hair. Like this wig literally looked like a wig from the late 90s with the freaking ends bumps like this. So I'm just taking my hot iron and I'm just passing it over, straightening out everything and making sure my hair is sleek and nice. After that, um, I just added some baby hairs, like a few pieces of baby hairs I cut in the front and just um, laid them down with the got to be styling gel. And literally that was it. So far, I haven't seen any shedding or any tangling from this hair. Um, the hair is really nice, you guys. To be honest, I'm not even like fronting right now. The hair is really nice. I'm just gonna take my got to be styling gel. I'm just gonna like lay them down. And just like that, you guys, this unit is actually really gorgeous. And literally, that's how easy it was to style this unit. So this is their Yaki Texture Bob unit. It's not a full lace wig. This is just a lace front regular unit. So the color that I got this hair in is a natural color, which is a 1B. The hair length is 14 inches. Also, the cap size that I usually get from RPG here, I believe, is a medium. So like I previously mentioned, the unit does come with the knots bleed. So you don't have to go in and, you know, bleach the knots again and none of that. Overall, the hair is really cute and nice from a distance. Like, you would not be able to tell that this is the Yaki texture hair until you actually feel it. Because me, myself, when I just pulled the hair out of the box, I did not know that it was even a Yaki texture hair until I felt it. So that's the only way you can like, actually tell that this is the Yaki texture hair is by running your fingers through it. Because literally just looking at the hair through the camera, it looks silky. It looks silky straight. So it doesn't even look like Yaki textured to me. Literally. Um, yeah, the unit is really cute and nice. Also, I love how flat it is. I think this is probably like the flattest wig I've installed in the longest while. I really love how this unit looks very natural. The only thing I had to do was go pull out those bumped ends that came on the unit itself and make it straight because I don't know, I don't like my bobs being with the ends bumped so much just because it looks really weird. We're not back in the 1900s here, so 
those yeah it was just not working out for me so that's why I did run my flat iron back through this here and like literally pulled out the bumped ends but besides that the unit is really nice you guys like I don't have much to say on it here because right now I really love the way the unit looks it's cute it's nice it's doing its thing for now so, so yeah, if you guys are looking for an affordable bob unit I highly suggest checking out RPG here they have tons of unit from different lengths and different textures and majority of all their units are very affordable so RPG is definitely my go-to shop for any of my new units do have a discount code for you guys that way you guys can save some money on your purchases from RPG definitely check out the description box for any additional info that I probably forgot to mention in today's video other than that I will catch you guys in my next one thank you guys so much for tuning back in don't forget to like share comment subscribe and I will catch you guys in my next one